so hi there and welcome to my youtube channel everything good for a better future so i guess i'm telling you everything that's happened so we can make it good if it wasn't and have a better present which will turn into a better future hi i have a story to tell you and you may wonder why is she saying this now why is she telling us these things now it's because like i said our past make our present and our present formulates our future now some years ago i had secretly gotten married there wasn't much people in the wedding very few people were at the wedding but it was blessed nonetheless a priest was there and i'm grateful that at least in the eyes of the lord we did it right now what happened is um i had fell off the plane and lost my memory on certain things so my mind reverted to the first relationship that i had with someone from the village so i presumed that we were going to get married and our life was going to be back on track because my memory took me to that place where him and i were which was school church occasional you know limes which include or parties or whatnot which included social drinking and very tasteful acts right games or whatnot but nothing nothing illegal or highly immoral at all so my mind took me back to that state in life where i was and my ex-husband came to do a signature he wanted my signature because we had a joint account one of which i never touched because at that time i didn't know i was married and i said i'm not going to take money from a man that i don't know don't love or don't care for me you know or it's going to be based on sex and i don't want to be a sex symbol only i wanted to be loved and cared for and nurtured for all right my mind and i wanted to be appreciated for my christian values so when I didn't feel those things and when I felt things being superficial, I didn't want to be among these people at all. Bearing in mind, I had no knowledge at this time that this was my husband that they always brought close to me so we could be seen together as husband and wife because they were questioning our marriage as we had invested in some things. All right. And what happened was... Um, he wanted me to sign some documents and people had said that i said this before they had said that um it would be regarded as pornography and he would put me in pornography and whatnot if i take that money so i told them well i'm not going to do that and i didn't take it what i found out afterwards was that we were married and i had every right to take what he was giving to me all right everything now um when he visited the country he visited with some friends and in some instances some co-workers and whatnot and one of these co-workers had sex with a girl that went to school with me and apparently they stated that he's the father of her child now i only recently found out about um that aspect people told me about it and i said that's not my business whomever she's with it's her business all right i can't just call her and tell her don't sleep with this one or don't do that she's over the age of 18 and i can't get involved in that so they came to my house and they stated that um he this guy had sex with this girl she got pregnant and she's a single mother now and you know she has no money they have no money to help her take care of her let alone her child and they were asking me for money at that time i was still a university student who was trying to do it on my own in life which was my objective one of the tasks in being who i am was that i had to go to school go to the world and make it on my own so even though i was married i didn't want to take the money in some instances because i didn't want them to say that i didn't do it on my own they would have said i did it through my husband all right which is why i'm upset highly upset because of these people's <clears throat> because of these people's tasteless acts and illegal acts 
I was forced to not apply for my job, status change and whatnot. And the criteria has changed since then. So it leaves me as an assistant teacher for life at this level. All right? Now I've made applications to other places and whatnot and I'm awaiting a response. I'm awaiting phone calls. I'm awaiting things. But they have not responded as yet. And it hurts that the one thing I've worked for my whole life through education to prove that I can do it on my own using my brain and not my body. They've failed me in doing these acts that cause me to not get to where I should be. All right, which is using education as a merit. And it's not, an, it's not a good example for all the young girls, especially young black girls out here in life whose whose ambition was to make it through having a decent christian life and through church and through school through education to be something and to acquire things right what they've done is set, set it out that the people who have sex with people for money and for favors that they are the ones who should prosper that's what they did when they did that to me when they held me back, that is exactly what presidents they set out there to the world. So all these high-end people whose children are educated and whatnot, that's what they're planning to do. Short-term work and whatnot because that's not what got you here. Education didn't get your mother here, so that is not going to get you here either. Good. Now, back to the story with this man. So in my community, a lot of people started to say that we were high-end prostitutes because they never knew my story. They never knew that I was married because I always told people when they asked, no, I'm single. All right, I would often tell people I'm single because like I said, I got hit in the head twice, actually three times, four times, right? Four times and I had forgotten a lot of things of, in terms of investments and whatnot, even my Bible verses. The only good thing is that I had good people in my life at that time and they said, don't worry, you didn't do anything illegal. But we will help coach you through things and help you to remember. And in some instances, they retort me. Alright? Now, when these people slept with these people and had babies with them, they presumed that I was a sex worker and they presumed that these other girls were sex workers. Right? In my instance, I was married, so if ever I was in a relationship with these people somehow or the other, I was entitled to it, very much entitled to it, all right? And I did not exercise my rights very often, in some instances, not at all, all right? And that's the truth. Now, these other girls would say that I'm stupid and I'm real stupid. You have a man like that running you down. You have a man like that giving you money like that and you're not taking it. So they went forth and they literally had sex with some of these guys for money. In one instance, a girl had sex for $2,000. And the family have been saying that it was me and some other friends of mine that did it. So what they're doing is lying on us and they have gotten people who are workers in the bank that are family members of theirs and whatnot to deny me access to my own money they have denied me my rights to a loan even though i'm qualified and had good credit and everything and they have cost me a lot of missed opportunities and they have cost me my baby because i had a baby in marriage and they cost me that the other thing is that there are other children and these people have stated that these, their children are not whores. Their children are not whores. And they are not going to make them believe that they are whores. Because one of the, the, my husband sent stuff for these kids that he's claimed. And they stole it. They stole their school bags, their school supplies and everything. They stole it. Because they are saying that these people came with him. And though he's a good father and a good man and is taking care of his kids... When he sends things to the country, these other men who had relationship with these women, their families steal the things. Alright? They steal it. They collectively come together, come to the port. They steal everything out. And this honest man's children don't get anything. I'm not even checking myself as his wife or ex-wife. 
his children don't get anything. They don't get much things. Right? And they do heinous things to these kids' foods and whatnot that people had to put a stop to. One of the reasons why I'm being pressed down and given no money and no access to my monies and whatnot is so that people could put me in these people's living conditions to blame me and say I was the one that had them there. They are well over the age of 18 and made their choices by themselves. I was never involved. I was too busy with work and church and school that I didn't have time for my friends. So when these guys came and they used my name, my friends went overboard on it because they knew everything that I was involved in was clean and decent. So they jumped at the opportunity with these guys, got themselves pregnant, and my countrymen are forcing me to not have money because these people's families are blocking me from certain things because they blame me for it. My name is Josan Acosta, and I take pride in doing what is right, decent, and good. I'm not to blame. So thank you and have a good day. Help me someone, please. Please. I did not do it. Help me.